We have made it to the 1995 NBA Finals in the 40 Years Sim. I am Nutty Sports Gamer. Bulls versus Rockets, the what if scenarios of all what if scenarios in NBA history. We're going to watch it play out. Here's game one. Announcer will take it away, and I'll come back later. Harper against Armstrong to the wing right side. Marble, the pass to Elijah Wan. And he uses the glass on the lane. Elijah Wan's got 24 points. He has been in some kind of groove here lately, really cooking on the offensive end. Yep, this is exactly what we saw from him in their last game. Lots of confidence. Now, here's Kerr. And here is Harper over Armstrong. Harper, no good. Carlin feeling it out a little bit. Passes it to Armstrong. Now, here's Elijah over Sanders. Elijah no luck. Now, Crew. Pass to Pippen. To the inside, Harper. That counts. He's put up 13 shots, and he's had eight of those go in. You know, with all the other things Griffin does so well, sometimes I think we forget how good a passer he is. Garland against Crook. There's the pick. The high post shot. Here's Charles. And he battles for the ball and gets the second chance bucket. And the Rockets lead by one. You know, I think when you give up second chance points, a lot of it comes down to simply a lack of effort. Yeah, it's simple. A key part of playing good defense is limiting the offense to one shot. And that starts with boxing out. And this is how you capitalize down the stretch. I mean, the coaching staff has got to be pleased with that. And the game isn't over yet, but that was huge. Let's see if they're able to close it out. Now, here's Garland. To the middle. Kicks it to Armstrong. Shoots the three. They get the rebound. And it's Elijah on with the jam. Neither team, Mike, able to take a hold of this game. Yeah, it's been a tight one. Numerous lead changes. Very competitive. Kerr against Garland. Pippen outside. Sanders passes to Harper. Sanders trying to get open. Ron Harper once again. Harper's got 10 points here in the second half. They continue to go to Harper, and Ron continues to score. What a night. Timeout call for Rockets. Stay together out there. All-out effort can win this game. Fellas? All right, David, thanks. Pass to Charles. Now Armstrong. Some nice passing there by Houston. Marble kicks to Armstrong. Just four to shoot. Marble's shot is off. Defense got all kinds of fortunate right there. Usually he takes full advantage of that situation. I'm sure he'll take another shot at it if they keep giving him openings. Great job of crashing the offensive glass. He stayed with him. That's hard-nosed, tough basketball. Throws it up high. And it's Drexler missing. Well, it's not easy to time an alley-oop. Just ask that pair. It's much harder than it looks. It takes two guys to sink. The shot will not fall. Good D by Jordan. The Bulls leading by three. It's Pippen on the win. King right side. Jordan inside. Drexler defending. The shot by Rodman, no good. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. Now the pass to Charles. Clyde Drexler on the win. The dish to Armstrong. Shoots. Here's the 20-footer. Armstrong's got five points now this quarter. Outstanding work from Armstrong, making himself useful on offense. 
Jordan left side. Elijah Wan grabs the miss. Elijah Wan's got double digit rebounds now in the game. Here's Drexler. Here's Charles. Doc Rivers, he's checked in for the Rockets. Timeout called the Rockets. And so here is Houston. This is it to Charles. Here's Marble. Shoots over Pippen. Offensive rebound. Charles. And they call the foul. So he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Look at that work break. Given the second effort to get the score off the miss. At the line for one. For Chicago, they've gone 7 of 13 from the field here in the fourth. Jordan against Rex. Jordan can't get it to go. Houston's gone 2 of 5 on three point shots since the end of the third quarter. Here's Rivers. Clock at six. Elijah on on the wing. With the clock winding down, and it's Elijah on with the jam. How about the effort on the offensive boards? Remarkable job, Clark. The coaching staff really appreciates that hard work. Love it. Not just the coaching staff, but his teammates do as well. Great work. Oh, they get it back. King, that's good. Crashing the offensive glass with power. King, this is why you got to put a body on him. And it's Rivers with the ball. He brings it up for the Rockets. The lead is two. Elijah on the pass to Rivers. Back to Elijah Wan. Shoots over Rodman. Elijah Wan can't hit. He's like that one back. That's normally a shot he makes. Pass to Jordan. Back to Harper. Some nice ball movement here by Chicago. I've been passing to King to tie it up. That drops and it comes off the assist from Rodman. Rodman's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. Timeout called the Rockets. The Rockets shooting it pretty well, close to 50%. Pass to Drexler. Back to Rivers. There's a screen. Second shot opportunity. And he comes up with the deuce. Elijah has got eight here in the quarter. You know, we say it a lot, and it's true. This league is about talent. But it's also about bringing effort on a consistent nightly basis. And when he gets into one of these grooves, you never know how long they're going to last. Sometimes they go on and on. Timeout called the Rockets. Michael Jordan really making a difference here. He's really taking... Rivers dishes to Drexler. He lobs it up, trying to go for an alley-oop, but excellent defense and anticipation there to stop it. Jordan with it, and Drexler picking him up to take the lead, and Jordan with the layup. Jordan's got 18 points just in the second half. How about that intensity that Jordan brings? I mean, this dude comes alive during crucial parts of the game. The pass to Charles. Drexler against Jordan. Drexler scanning the floor. Three on the clock. And again, the turnover by the Rockets. And wow, what a time for a turnover. Shows you just how key a play like this can be.
143 left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Jordan. Rodman sets the screen for Jordan. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. Hey, anytime the game's on the line, Jordan is exactly the guy I wanted to strike. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Bulls. in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. Second one is good. In both at the line, and it's a four-point ball game. This is why his team trusts him at the line, because they believe in his ability to hit clutch shots. To the paint. Here's Elijah one. That one doesn't go. So the Bulls will take it the other way. Outside Harper passes to King. 106 left to play here in the fourth. Releases from 15. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got the lead up to six now for Chicago. And everyone in this building knew Jordan would hit it. He just comes alive in these situations. It's horrible. They had a chance to end the run there. You know, to cut deficits, you've got to be making smart basketball plays out there. Taking care of the ball, it's not done by hoisting up bonehead threes like that. And a dunk by Jordan. They're doing absolutely everything they can to close the book on this one. Yeah, the time on the clock and the numbers on the scoreboard are all in their favor right now. Harper against Rivers. To marble but three Chicago grabs the miss and Mike they can just hold on to the ball here no question they deserve to win outside Jordan So the Bulls win it. So that's a wrap for the first game of the NBA Finals. For Mike Fratello, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, and our entire 2K crew, this is Kevin Harlan. 41 points for Michael Jordan, 20 points for Ron Harper, 14 for Steve Curry. He had four three-pointers, 30 for Hakeem, 21 for Lorenzo Charles, and the Bulls beat the Rockets 117-109. It was a close back-and-forth game all throughout the fourth quarter. The Rockets had the lead a few times. The Bulls eventually took took the lead and didn't look back in the game's final minutes. And Jordan was spectacular, as you'd expect. Hakeem was no slouch, though. So let's jump. Let's see if we could jump into game two of this finals. It looks like the Bulls do have a commanding lead. And they're not going to look back, folks. 118-96. 37 for Michael Jordan. B.J. Armstrong, former teammate of Michael Jordan's, had a good game for the Rockets. Now let's check out Game 3. I believe this is a jump-worthy one. It has to be. <laughs> I prayed that it would be. Let's jump in. Sanders against Green. Now Armstrong. And the basket charges. Here's Marble, guarded by Pippen. Down to five on the shot clock. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. One on Pippen. And a breakdown here, guys. The hustle stance for the Bulls. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. 
Two shots. And the first one drops. Both shots good from the strike. Bulls leading by three. Outside Harper. Screened by Sanders. Harper kicks to Sanders. Oh, good with the triple. And for Houston, they're shooting straight 49% from the field. Drexler outside. Armstrong with a screen on Jordan. Count that one. You can just see how comfortable Drexler is in the mid-range area. He's got a really good touch for these shots. Armstrong against Harden. Going inside. And a wide open look for Sanders. Hits the three-point bomb. Sanders has got 11 in the second half. Rockets trail by four. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Here's Armstrong. A sweet little floater. Armstrong's got 22 points. For a smaller play like BJ, that floater is a must. It bypasses the shot. Jordan down low. He's against Rutschler. And Jordan gets it to go. He is simply torching a defense that has no answers for him. And so here is Houston. Armstrong passes to Charles. It's Drexler, top of the key. Left side, Jordan. He doesn't hit that one. And Houston the other way. And here's Armstrong. Passes it to Charles. Outside, Drexler. Just five on the clock. Houston needs to get a shot. It's all in by the Bulls. Jordan's got five rebounds tonight. Over Drexler. Good work defensively by Drexler. Well, we've seen him make this shot often with no defensive cover. He's got to be kicking himself he didn't make that one. To Marble. Houston moving the ball around. Drexler's shot is off. The Bulls leading by four. Pops it up for Jordan. And the dunk by Jordan. No doubt about the brilliance of Jordan as a player. Outstanding. And knowing when to go get that alley oop. Pass to Drexler. And Drexler throws it down home. No room for error there because he's threw it down with both hands. Pretty smart, yeah, with the score this close, you can't afford any mistakes. Boy, a miss slam would have been deflated. Nice to see him finish it off. And so here in Chicago, following the score by Houston. And once Jordan gets rolling, you're done. Because he's relentless, and now it continues to attack. He logs up the alley -oop pass, and Trexler throws it down home. You know, the alley-oop is a two-part play, folks. It takes a great pass, but it's much easier to execute the pass when you're throwing it to Clyde Drexler. The Clyde getting up and down. Now, here's Sanders. Here's Jordan. Green with the rebound. Green's got eight rebounds in this game. Armstrong passes to Charles. There's Marble, and it's Houston with another. And when you're guarding him, you've got to fight over the top. Lock and trail around the screen and deny the perimeter shot. To the left side wing. Jordan against Rex. Jordan kicks the in. Pippen feeling it out a bit. The Rockets pull it in. Could have asked for a better look. A little frustration and didn't get it to drop. On the 
the wing, Drexler. Defended by Jordan. Feeds to Armstrong. To tie it up. Second chance effort, and he sinks the layup. It's all knotted up. You know, they could have gave up and thrown up the white flag, but instead, they've scratched and clawed their way back into it. A real testament to how much these guys believe in themselves. Even when they're down and things look hopeless, they kept plugging away. Another shot. King's shot is off. You expect to get two points there. A little unlucky for them. Armstrong with it. Over to the wing. Drexler up top. He makes his ninth shot of the game. He has only missed four. We are seeing a ton of effort from Drexler on offense. And another great look at the 2K drum. And a close game, you got to find the edge. High energy plays like that one can make a big difference. To the wing on the left. Jordan down low. Drexler defending. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got the game tied up here for the Bulls. With the game in the balance, he is ramping up his intent. You can feel it. And that's exactly what Coach needs from him. A big offensive effort down the stretch. Here's Marble. Here's Drexler. Again, the Rockets score. Wasting no time on the catch. I love seeing Drexler go into attack mode right away. Chicago calls time I'll get it done. See how it plays out, Kevin. Thanks, David. Jordan against Rex. Jordan passes to King. Outside Harper over Drexler. The offensive rebound. We've seen this from Jordan before. He lurks around the offensive glass. Rockets have gone 8 of 11 from the field in the final period. Great shooting down the stretch. Oh, and there's the alley-oop. No good on the shot. Now Chicago has gone 1 of 2 from three-point range here in the fourth. And there's the pass to Hart. Floats one. Rockets with the rebound. Olajuwon's got nine rebounds in the game. Getting it done. Out to the wing. Armstrong against Harper. Kicks it to Marble. Lock at six. Rebounded by Rodman. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Chicago Bulls. Harper against Armstrong. Harper the pass to Rodman. And the jam by Dennis Rodman. Good vision from Harper on that play. Spotting a ready shooter and finding a way to get him the ball. Harper against Armstrong. That's the choice. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. Boy, that's a high IQ play on defense there. That's a spot where you want to foul. Send the message. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. First one falls for him. As solid a rotational player that you'll find. Armstrong was superb at playing his role. Good on both. He can do so much damage from the line. The defense has to be more careful around him. Now, here's Harper. To the inside. Jordan down low. He's against Drexler. Jordan's shot is off. Here's Drexler. Shoots over Harper. And it's Drexler missing. Chicago's gone one and two from three-point range here in the fourth. Pippen issues to Harper. Over Armstrong. 
boy, he just hasn't been able to get his shot to fall. For Houston, they've gone in a 14 from the floor here in the fourth quarter. Pass to Elijah Wan. Shoots over King. That doesn't go in. Had a chance, though, to take the lead. And Chicago shooting at 52% for the field. They're clicking. Tries again. Jordan can't get it to go. And for Houston, they're shooting 53% from the field in the fourth quarter. Can't ask for more than that from your offense. Drexler kicks to Marble. Now the feed to Elijah Wan. To take the lead, he takes it up and lays it in. In crunch time, trying to get the foul, the bucket, or both. Chicago trailing here. Outside, Harper. Left side, Jordan. That falls. High speed that time from Harper. Jordan's got 39. As clutch as they come. Michael Jordan, a huge bucket. Elijah on with a screen for Drexler. Jordan with some nice deep. Bull shooting in the fourth quarter has looked shabby. 38%. Side Harper. It's to Pippen. Michael Jordan on the wing. Drexler defending. Here's Rodman. Four on the clock. And the jam by Dennis Rodman. Clutch basket from the worm. Out there for more than his defense and rebound. A pass to Drexler. Over Jordan. Drexler, no good. Chicago leading. Outside Pippen. Rodman, that's in. That's his fifth field goal. He's shooting a hot 71%. Five for seven. And for Houston, they're shooting straight 49% from the field. Armstrong against Harper. There's Marble. Money! No pressure at all. He's not feeling it. Unfazed. Completely unfazed. And delivers with a clutch button. Jordan drives in. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. In crunch time, everyone knows the ball is going to Michael Jordan. and that makes it a three-point lead. You know, the separator with Jordan from other guys is his drive. That's obvious in my mind. He wants to win more than most anybody else out there on the floor. And so both free throws are good. That's a four-point ball game. And those free throws now make this a two-possession game. Now a timeout called by Houston. Here's Elijah Wan. And no good. Trying to use the glass. And the Bulls with possession. Four-point game. And Rodman with the slam. The hook. There's 37 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Here's Trexler. Moves back up. It drops. And now they trail by just four. This is what he brings to your team. The ability to turn misses into makes. Pile up second chance points. And an intentional foul right there. One, and that puts them up by five. And 
so he drops them both. It's a once again, the Rockets were able to take a lead briefly in the fourth quarter, but the Bulls came roaring back, and they didn't look back, ultimately beating the Rockets 114-106, to 106, 43 points for Michael Jordan, 24 for Scottie Pippen, and the Bulls have taken a 3-0 series lead. Listen, I know some of you will, will feel some kind of way about this. Obviously, it's just NBA 2K. <laughs> All right, and these aren't the exact same teams. You know, these these teams, uh, the Bulls, the 96 Bulls came a year early. If you don't know the story of why now, um, I can I can recount it to you really quickly. Uh, the Bulls got embarrassed in round two of the 94 playoffs. And so they, Dennis Rodman was a free agent. Ron Harper had one year left in his deal. And so it was pretty easy. And I think pretty justifiable to bring both those guys to this team for this season. Um, and so, yeah. Meanwhile, the Rockets, they have Clyde, they have Hakeem, but they don't have all the same players. So these teams aren't exactly the same as they were in real life. So take that what you will. Meanwhile, the Bulls will go on to win this game and celebrate in Houston. So let's check that out right now. And I'll catch up with you in a little bit. It's over. The Chicago Bulls are the new NBA champions. Thank you, everyone, for coming out and supporting your team. Oh, to be crowned a champion on the road is something else. To win and to do it with a crowd that was so emotional and so into this game, you've beaten the team and you've conquered everything that this great arena holds. Yeah, it's a bittersweet moment for the home crowd. But all full credit to the visitors and the amazing job they did to never lose focus or drive. And boy, this is the moment they've been working towards all season long. And even if they don't get to celebrate in front of their home fans, that does not take anything away from the satisfaction. Now, let's take you to the presentation of the Larry O'Brien Trophy. NBA Commissioner doing the honor. So as always, David Stern holding the Larry O'Brien trophy. Gonna hand it off to Michael Jordan, perhaps, of the of the Bulls here, the finals MVP. Steve Kerr winning his first ring. Ron Harper winning his second. Robin winning winning his second. So what an image there. Michael Jordan and the Bulls. The Bulls franchise and Jordan winning their third championship in four years. It's really something to see. And, uh, yeah, the Rockets got swept, but they had a hell of a run getting back to the finals. Clyde and Akeem, and who knows? Maybe they'll be back. You know, there's a vacuum in the West, if you think about it. Because Malone and Stockton aren't on the Jazz. Barkley on the Kings, we thought that would be a real test for the Rockets. It wasn't, right? Now, there are a couple of teams in the West, the Sonics, I feel like are a team on the rise, the Nuggets, you know, but the Suns are always pesky, right? The pesky Suns of bitches. But the Rockets, they have a pretty damn good team and they're they're built to last for a few more seasons. So they might be back. Let's let's not count them off for the rest of the nineties. Like I know in real life they couldn't make it back to the finals, but in the sim they very easily could. Meanwhile, Yes, the Bulls are the champions, and they are running it back with this team for, I mean, at least for next season. I'm sure beyond that, too. They got all their main players uh, on under contracts for the next couple of years. So this team can make a run. They could get, they could make a repeat happen. They can get a three-peat, possibly a four-peat. That would be insane. Uh, yeah, but Pippen and, and Jordan are three-time champions, like I said. Robin getting some nice accolades for himself. So is Ron Harper. I mean, this team is loaded. We know that. Stacey King has three champions. Steve Kerr, his first. I mean, it's an absolute loaded team. They were loaded in real life. This team was just freaking unbelievable. The amount of talent was on this team. And in this sim, like their their overall ratings are a bit inflated, like like pretty much everyone's ratings are in 2K. So, but yeah, I mean, it, it's, it should be no surprise that this team was able to go 68 and 14 and, and win the finals. Go through the playoffs in the way that they did, right? They they won it easily. Meanwhile, Sadell 3 and Jim Paxson are going to go out champions. They didn't really play much in uh, this season. But Jim Paxson winning a championship with his brother, John Paxson, is pretty special. 
Meanwhile, Brooks Carter, blah, 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 and the bench player is also winning rings. But I thought it's pretty cool that Jim Paxson and, and Sedell 3 were able to get uh, championships uh, for themselves. So that's nice. Retirement's Purvis Short. Had had some nice plays in the playoffs. He is gone. He is retired. He had a nice career for himself. Drafted in 1978. Cliff Robinson drafted in 1979. He had a nice career. Went out losing in the conference finals. Went to a finals with the Bullets. Had a nice long career with the Bullets. Uh, I don't. I don't think he, he's going to get his number retired. But he had a hell of a hell of a run with the Bullets ever since what 1985. So. Uh, yeah, made the playoffs every single year. He was a bullet, so so that's some pretty some pretty special stuff. Neither he or Purvis Short, I believe, are going to be Hall of Famers, but still, they were damn impressive uh, during their runs in the sim. Jim Paxson, Larry Bird, as I strongly hinted at or told you in the in the end of season video, he is retired. Tindy Moncrief has retired. He was a you know excellent player for a long time. He was on that Kings team. Made it to the Western Conference Finals. Mike Mitchell finally retired. Wes Matthews. Kiki Vandeway, he retired a champion. Mike Kaminsky. Robert Parrish, four-time champion. Robert Parrish already has a number retired for the Celtics. Mark Aguirre, that's a big one retiring. Uh, he won a championship with the Bucks in 87. Ricky Pierce. There's some big ones, really big ones. Uh, finally retiring. Darwin Cook uh, had some notable seasons in this sim. Jeff Rulin. Has finally retired. He was a, a bullet for a long time that bounced around. John, John Sunvald, Fred Roberts, Gene Banks, Antoine Carr. I think now he will retire and stay that way. Quentin Daly of the Cavs, Franklin Edwards, Walker Russell, Dallas Comegis. Could ever really get Dallas Comegis to do to do anything interesting in this sim, but that's par for the course. He wasn't really much of a player in real life either. At least. He wasn't all that accomplished. Larry Bird, Mark Aguirre are going to go into the Hall of Fame. Mark Aguirre in the Hall of Fame. Not Moncrief. Moncrief doesn't get in the Hall of Fame. That is very curious to me. I don't know why that would be. I wish I could change that. Right? They should at least, at least allow me to add somebody. You know, that's kind of BS that Moncrief doesn't get in. I don't know what else he would have needed. He had, he had plenty of defensive players of the year awards. I don't know. Moncrief does get his number retired for the Bucks, though. Aguirre gets a number retire for the Mavericks and Jeff Rulin. Cool to see that. Obviously, that didn't happen in real life. Jeff Rulin, because of his contributions to the sim, gets his number forty-three retire for the Bullets. No one will ever wear forty-three in Washington franchise history ever again uh, or future. Raptors and Grizzlies are expansion teams. They're going to be in this sim starting in the, the following season. We're going to get hand checking, forbid hand checking or contact by a defender with their hands to impede the movement of an opponent that possesses the ball. And then team branding. So you see all these team branding changes. Uh, I come to find out that 2K didn't change the floors of a lot of these teams, and they should have. That is something I'm going to go over in the next episode. Uh, and yeah, you can see we're going to get expansion teams. We're going to get hand checking, or f we're going to not get hand checking. Uh, and you can see that the Grizzlies are going to be in the Midwest Division of the Western Conference, and the Raptors are going to be in the Central Division of the Eastern Conference. The draft lottery, the draft uh, off-season trades, transactions, uh, the, the, the upcoming rosters in the '96 season. And the new court designs, that's all going to be in the next episode. Lately, I've been combining the draft with the finals in the same video. I can't, I, there's just too much off-season. Too much off-season to cover that I couldn't possibly fit it with this episode. And you know what? These next few drafts, I feel like they, they deserve standalone episodes. 95 draft, 96 draft, 97 draft. Right, I mean, ninety, even the ninety-eight draft. I think we're gonna have to go back to having standalone episodes for the draft and the off-season. Uh, no longer wedging them into the finals videos, but you can at least see these are the lottery odds. One thing I'm gonna note here and in the following episode is that that one Celtics pick that says via Portland that that's gonna remain with the Blazers. Just wanna let everyone know that now, so that anyone disappointed. I'm telling you right up front that that, that pick is going to stay with the Portland Trailblazers. Uh, I'll, I'll show you what I did with that uh, in the next episode because I, I try to make it fair 
for all parties involved. But uh, that's next episode. Thank you for watching. Thank you very much, everyone who has liked and subscribed in the past. I hope you are going to like this video. And anyone who hasn't subscribed yet, subscribe now. This this is just going to get better, guys. This sim is... It, 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 the, the, ah. All right, goodbye. <laughs>